2024 Mercedes AMG GT. Estimated price, $135,000. The 2024 Mercedes AMG GT Coupe will go on sale early next year in two trim levels, the 469 horsepower GT55 and the 577 horsepower GT63. For the first time, the GT features standard all-wheel drive and available rear seats. Exterior Its structure is composed of an aluminum space frame with steel, magnesium, and carbon fiber elements, and overall dimensions have increased slightly over its predecessor. It's now 7.1 inches longer, 1.6 inches wider, and carries an additional 2.8 inches between its axles. Active aerodynamic systems can be found in the front underbody as well as with the active rear spoiler, an optional aerodynamics package will bring additional front air deflectors, a more pronounced rear diffuser, and a fixed rear wing. Interior The interior has price-appropriate decor, starting with beautiful turbine-style air vents whose shape is echoed in dual bumps in the dash. Like the SL, the 2024 AMG GT has a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and portrait-style touchscreen. Thanks to the AMG GT's hard roof, the screen probably won't get as hot as the SL's can when the top is down. We're told outward visibility is better than before, and those available rear seats do fold. The power lift gate on the new model is a good, and expected, feature for a car like this. Performance the 2-4-seat GT55 model gets a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 with 469 horsepower and 516 lb-ft of torque. These are impressive numbers that may sound familiar from the SL55. The 2-seat GT63 uses a higher tuning of the same engine, good for 577 horsepower and 590 lb-ft, that engine is AMG's familiar twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 which will pump out 469 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque in the GT55 model and 577 horses and 590 pound-feet in the GT63. However, the new car's transmission, a 9-speed automatic with a clutch pack in place of a torque converter, is situated directly behind the engine, rather than positioned in back as with the previous GT's rear-mounted dual-clutch transaxle. You can change everything from the steering to the suspension to the exhaust note by selecting one of the six drive modes, Smooth, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, a Custom Drive Mode, and Race. As on the SL, the GT Coupe gets 15.4-inch steel brake discs while carbon ceramic options are available. The new AMG GT Coupe has AMG Active Ride Control, an advanced piece of tech we've experienced on the SL63. Here, the tech is standard on both the GT55 and GT63 models, where it replaces anti-roll bars with interlinked hydraulic lines that impact the ride. It's supposed to make the car corner more flatly, which should help at high speeds in the twisties when the driver encounters an unexpected bump. Additional convenience can be found around back, with the hands-free power-actuated rear hatch opening to reveal a generous cargo area that should accommodate two golf bags. And you'll want to opt for the collapsible rear jump seats if you plan to maximize the GT's cargo capacity, as models without them get a fixed bulkhead behind the passenger compartment. If you liked this video, subscribe our channel to help growing the channel and get notifications for the next new videos.